They ask us for which x value will the sequence converge. We should know that converging sequences are when the ratio is between minus 1 and 1. So what you do is you find r. Now if I gave you a normal geometric pattern like this, to find r you would say term 2 over term 1 because that would be 6 divided by 3 which is 2. Sometimes you can also see it but if you don't then you use this method. So I'm going to use the same approach here. I'm going to say t2. I'm going to say r is equal to t2 over t1. Now term 2 is x minus 2 squared and term 1 is x minus 2. Now depending on how comfortable you are with this type of maths you might see this quite easily but what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the x minus 2 out twice because that's what this 2 means and then you can cancel one of them and so r is x minus 2. What I then do is I take this r which is x minus 2 and I replace it over here. So I say x minus 2 is smaller than 1 and bigger than negative 1. I then solve by taking this minus 2 there and I also take it over to the left and so there is our answer.